Um, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It depends on when you come across this video. Once again, brethren, your sister is here. My name is Dikines Rose Maduka, and today I have a good news for someone. And the good news is, are you meeting Jesus for the first time? This is the question. So if, you, if this is your first time, or you are still thinking, like, should I change from my old way to go and meet with the master? I want to assure you, you are welcome. Jesus is the father that can never say no to his children, even though they are dirty, even though in their infirmities, even though, even though the soul in their body is smelly. Jesus is a father that will not say no to you. Brethren, what are you waiting for? Are you meeting Jesus for the first time? Come to him. He is your father. I want you to imagine when you are seeing your, your biological father for the first time. You know, it's like you are looking at the father and say, is it true? Are you the one? Or let me say rather, a father you have not seen for many years or a mother you have not seen for many years a sister brother a friend that you have not seen for many years but sometimes when you come to them with your infirmity they may not accept you sometimes when you come to them and you are dirty they may not accept you but there is only one person that cannot say no to your embrace that cannot say no when you come to him, is Jesus. Is Jesus. Brethren, many people today that are righteous, if they can sit you down and tell you their story, you will say, wow, how could you be accepted? Yes, because they have a father that have not rejected them. Brethren, I want you to remember the woman of the issue of blood. This woman, the way the Bible describes her, if we can only imagine, just imagine a woman who has been bleeding for many years. It's smelling. Everywhere is smelling. If, a, if this can happen to a woman at home, I am so sure. Listen, your husband will not want to come closer to you, including your children, your loved ones. No one wants to come closer to you. But this woman decides in her heart and says, I think I know a man. Many people have rejected this woman. The Bible says that she spent all her life money. She spent all she has on that same sickness just to be free. But just for a second and a moment, she was free by touching the hem garment of the master. Brethren, she was meeting the master for the first time. And her miracle came. She received her deliverance. She received her miracle. This is what the master can do. Only the master. Brethren, you can also do the same thing. Listen, there is a man called the blind Bartimaeus in the Bible as well. This man was sitting, has been there for many years. Blind, dirty. Many people with pity, with you know, when they will pity for him and give him some coins. But the day he met with the master, his freedom came. He was healed. He see again. Brethren, I don't know what you are facing that has made that have kept you in that situation for so long. That have made you to think that master meeting meeting with the master is not the solution. But let me tell you, my sister, let me tell you, my brother, meeting with the master for the first time will bless your soul. And you will never remain the same again. Why not come? Don't waste time. Don't waste your time. Come and meet with the master. Look for a Bible-living church where you can learn the word of God because the word of God is him and he is his word. So they are one. There is nothing separate between the word and the master. So come, go to the Bible Living Church and you will never remain the same again. I pray that my last message bless someone and this one is going to bless someone and that person might be you. God bless you and I will see you next time. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Bye.
Yeah.